Well, I would call the, mo uh, the target modest and wise. It's modest in, in light of the uh, data that we've seen coming in in the first two months. There seemed to be quite a strong rebound in the economy, both on the consumption side as well as on the manufacturing side. So that promises a, a, a good year for China. And therefore, the 5% growth seems to be relatively easily uh, achievable. But it's also wise not to go too high with the target because it would mean that uh, the government does not have to stimulate as much the economy, that it can focus more on structural reforms, that it can focus on reducing some of the risks that have been uh, building up in the economy in terms of debt, in terms of lo the, the fairly loose uh, 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 fiscal policy that it, that it had. Now there's more room for more structural reforms, for, look, for shoring up the fiscal situation, for reducing the debt to GDP ratio, so targets that are important to reduce the risk in the Chinese economy. 5% growth is, is really a very significant number. If you look at the, over the past three years, the 4.5% growth is more than 20% uh, of total world growth uh, in, the, in the economy, so that's a contribution. What is even more helpful this year is that Li Keqiang said, look, the, the balance of payments should basically be balanced. And basically it anticipates that there would be more domestic demand compared to external demand. And that's a positive for the world economy. So in other words, with increased consumption, increased domestic investment, you would also get more imports relative to exports. And that would help the world economy recover.